Well, all day today, we've been commemorating Juneteenth. On this day in 1865, the last enslaved people in Galveston, Texas, finally received the news that slavery had ended more than two years after the Emancipation Proclamation. Communities all around our area are marking the day from a flag raising and baseball events in Patterson to a special flag raising in Harlem and a commemoration in New Rochelle. And as CBS 2's Ali Bauman shows us, the events continued into the evening. The sun is out and the chocolate is melting. Families gathered and played in the Bronx's Joyce Kilmer Park for Black Opportunities Juneteenth Festival. This day is about freedom. It's about love. We want to make it about family. Founder Hawk Newsom brought his daughter to be surrounded by a strong community. We go into communities and tell black people fight for your freedom. So, you know. This, this, this holiday embodies everything we do, and if we can pass that on to the kids, then it's perfect. Between running and dancing, kids could also learn about the history of Juneteenth at a mobile classroom. For Juneteenth, it's more than just a day off. It's people who died and gave their way so that we can all be free. To fight for a free future, Shavona Newsom says it's important to look to the past. Because we understand the wealth gap here in America for black people. We understand all the disparities, but we believe that the power of unity and the community getting together, that we can overcome those perils. Brother, brother, brother. As night fell, there's far too many of you died. A different Juneteenth celebration began at the Stonewall Inn in Greenwich Village. Stonewall has always been a symbol of gay liberation, and we want it to also be a symbol of black liberation. Singers took to the stage, raising money for the Okra Project, a nonprofit supporting black trans people. Celebrating black voices, lifting up the black community, and, and having a good night. The Stonewall Inn Gives Back initiative also donated $10,000 to the Black and Brown Equity Coalition of Fire Island for their Juneteenth event. That is what Juneteenth is about. It's about celebrating joy of real freedom. Reimagining where we can go by remembering where we came from. Ali Bauman, CBS2 News.